And if you can find your shade in NARS, well, how does it feel to be God's favorite? I don't ignore you. You said it first, but I meant it more, girl. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You got potential. I can't explain. You're so persuasive. What's up car crew and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Courtney Janine and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be a testing new makeup 2022 video. I'm super duper excited because one, I haven't done one of these videos in a long time. I just haven't been really inspired by the new makeup releases. But today is different because I have a bunch of new products that I wanted to try. I actually already tried a couple but I wanted to kind of share it in this video. Main star of the show is definitely going to be the new NARS foundation. This is something that I haven't tried yet. This is the new NARS light reflecting foundation. I picked it up in the color Car... Caracas? 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 Chow? I don't know. But um, I went to Sephora and got shade matched so hopefully this matches me. The Sephora worker told me that it oxidizes but I don't know. I also got some new e.l.f. products from Ulta that I have been wanting to get my hands on. This is the new e.l.f power grip primer and then i also got the elf brow lift product which is supposed to be a dupe for the abh brow freeze and the power grip primer you probably already have guessed it. it is a dupe for the milk hydro grip primer so we're testing a lot of new makeup today I actually already used the brow lift to fill in my brows today and honestly i absolutely love it it's something that i don't have to worry about building up that's one thing that i run into with the brow freeze if i use too much my brows just look really Really cakey but this is something that I can use a lot of and it just dries clear which I absolutely love also picked up the matching applicator with this and that is what I use to do my brows today absolutely love it let's go ahead and prime with the elf power grip primer like I mentioned before this is the new elf primer it is supposed to be a dupe for the milk hydro grip primer and honestly you guys just from pumping it into my hand I absolutely love the feel of this I have used it before but I just love how this feels on the skin. It is super similar to the Hydro Grip Primer from Milk. Um, it just has some of the best like tackiness. It feels like my skin is being hydrated, which I absolutely love. So I've been loving this. And I actually, after the first time that I used this, I put it up on my community tab because I was like, people need to know about this. This is $10 compared to the $36 that Milk is charging for their hydro grip primer and honestly you guys i do not see a difference between the two so i will be repurchasing this and i probably won't be buying another milk hydro grip so let's get into the star of the show which is the main thing that i want to talk about today and review this is the nars light reflecting foundation again i got it in the shade medium deep 3.3 caracas chow i don't know this is an advanced makeup skincare hybrid foundation with a natural finish that quickly blurs and smooths while visibly improving skin's clarity over time it is medium coverage and natural finish so actually have tried NARS foundation before. I have not tried the soft matte but I am a known lover of the natural radiant longwear foundation. I actually use this in Macau. It's a little dark but you know it worked when I put everything together. But I actually it looks like it's running out shall. So this came in the perfect time. Let's go ahead and unbox this and this retails for $49. I was a little bit, I was taken aback when I went to the counter because I was like, 50, what? That's the tax and everything. I was like, what? It's how much? But yeah, it's $49. Again, I got it in the shade Medium Deep 3.3. I did get shade matched at Sephora, but when she put this on my forehead, it literally just blended in. So I'm super duper excited to be trying this out today. I am going to go in and color correct around my mouth because I usually do that anyway before I do my foundation routine. So I'm I'm gonna go do that off camera and i'll be back to apply this foundation all right you guys i am back as you can see i have a bit of color corrector on but i'm just going to start going in with the nars foundation i'm going to be using a brush i also have a clean beauty blender this is from the beauty blender like zodiac collection so it has my sign on it which is leo i will actually use this to blend it out if i decide that i need to also go in with a beauty blender but i'm just going to go in with two pumps i think oh i forgot to shake it 
sorry. Let's go ahead. Ooh. Child, I'm scared about this color, but we gonna keep it pushing, child. I love how it feels on the face. It just feels super duper, you no know, lightweight. Um, I'm not sure about the color match. It doesn't look that bad on camera, but in person, I just look like a Oompa Loompa. And I don't think it's from my color corrector because I don't know. But anyways, even though the color match for me is a bit off, I won't put that past the foundation. In terms of like my thoughts on this foundation so far, because I am going to like finish up my face off camera because the only NARS products that I have is my color corrector and my foundation. Everything else is another brand, so I don't feel like it's as necessary to come on here and like show you guys how i am finishing up my face initial thoughts i feel like it looks like skin i'm not sure what the girl at sephora was talking about when she said it oxidized maybe it has to dry down a little bit more for me to see that but um i love the finish of this it really does look like skin it glides on the skin really nice and it does just like kind of melt into your skin which i really like in terms of thoughts color matching uh i just feel like i always am struggling with nars in terms of like trying to find my perfect shade i don't think that macau is my perfect shade either when i am using this foundation i always have to mix but i don't think that this is my perfect shade either so yeah i wish that nars would expand their foundation range just a little bit actually a lot of bit but i absolutely love this foundation i am going to go in and finish my face off camera and then i'll kind of give you all my final thoughts after i see how it kind of adjusts to the rest of my routine and i'll give you guys my final thoughts but for now this is what she looks like i don't usually typically put foundation on my forehead at all so that's why i skipped out on that today but yeah what do we think about the match we think i need a new foundation because if i do ciao I went to a new sephora which was so far away but anyways i'm going to go finish up my face i'll be back after i do that to give you guys my final thoughts all right you guys i am back to give my final thoughts on the new light reflective foundation from nars again i got it in the shade medium deep 3.3 let's go ahead and get into my thoughts on this foundation so so like I mentioned before, I have used the NARS Radiant Foundation. I don't know the full name, but yes, I use that foundation every day. That's a part of my everyday makeup routine. I like to mix it with the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop, which gives me like the perfect color. Honestly, looking at the final product, I think that this shade match wasn't too bad, but like, ugh, I don't know. I just, I think I like the coloring of what I normally do a bit better than this foundation, but that has nothing to do with the formula. My biggest critique is that NARS needs to expand their shade range because I just feel like their shade range is the hardest. Like I thought Fenty Beauty had a very tricky formula or like tricky shade range because it was so hard for me to find my foundation shade in Fenty. But NARS has them beat. I don't know, like every shade that I try is just like, mm, you can get away with it, but it's not a perfect match. So I definitely think that they should expand their foundation shades because I have heard so many good things about the soft matte. I heard so many things about this, so I had to pick it up, but I just never know what my shade is. So let's get into what I like about this foundation. I love how it looks like skin. Like when I tell you, I blended it out and I was like oh my gosh this is a really nice foundation it doesn't feel like makeup when I'm putting it on like I have a full face of makeup on but I don't feel like I have makeup on which I absolutely love and I think that it's given to the fact that this is a bit of a skincare foundation so it kind of is helping your skin while being on your skin I love that so I love how it looks like skin I love how it blends out effortlessly it is a medium coverage but honestly after you complete all of your steps in your everyday makeup routine it looks full to me like i wouldn't say that it's full coverage because you would have to put on like concealer concealer color corrector bronzer contour all that to kind of get it to be a full coverage look but by itself it is definitely medium coverage which i absolutely like i like a foundation that looks like skin i love this foundation because one it looks like skin but two the way it blended out was just so effortless which i absolutely love so i love that again i have i can't attest to the longevity of this foundation because i'm not going to do a wear test but in terms of like my initial thoughts and if I would recommend it, I definitely would. Again, I don't know if I mentioned this actually, but I am a dry skin, like normal to dry skin. So I absolutely feel like my skin 
loves this foundation because it's not super matte it's very skin like and just like I don't know it just looks so pretty so honestly you guys like I mentioned before I don't have any cons about the foundation I have a cons with NARS and their shade range like please expand it it just has very weird undertones NARS if you just added like 10 more shades please thanks but yeah I'm still gonna keep this because it doesn't look too bad and honestly I am used to mixing my foundation so I kind of want to mix this with the ease drop from Fenty and see how that looks as well but all in all you guys i hope you enjoyed this foundation review or testing new makeup i recommend all the products that i showcased you guys today the power grip primer the brow lift from elf and of course the nars foundation if you are able to find your shade in nars how does it feel to be god's favorite but yeah you guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you picked up this foundation down in the comments below and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys they say I be trippin' on the low-low But I'm just kidding